Hi, and welcome to another Windows Wet Grass uh, tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to instant message someone using the command prompt. Now, if you're running Windows XP, what you want to do is you want to go to My Documents, go to Tools, and Folder Options, and then do as following. If you're running Windows Vista, you're going to go to Folder Options, and go to View. Now, if you're running XP, you also do this. Go to View. See how it says hide extensions for known file types. Usually, as default, that'll be selected. Make sure it's unselected. Oh my gosh. Oops, there we go. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so click OK. Alright, now once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to pull up Notepad. Okay, so get up a new Notepad. Whoa, oh, mine's huge. Open. Well, this is just what I'm doing right now. You don't do this. Okay. Open a new WordPad and basically you're going to type that up. Okay. So I'll just give you a few seconds to pause the video and type that. Okay. Now once you've done that, what you want to do is file, save as, and save it as a batch file, okay? So now, hold on, here we go, this is the icon you want, right? So go ahead and run that, and as you'll see, now it says Messenger. So what you want to do is close that for the moment. Now, in order to message someone, you got to be able to, you know, talk to them and everything, and you want this to run like smoothly. So there are two things you need: one, to be able to talk to someone and two for it to run smoothly. So first of all we're going to get it to run smoothly. We're going to go to control panel. <coughs> um, administrative tools. Administrative tools, I'm sorry. I pronounced that incorrectly. Um, computer management. going to go to services and applications and then services okay now what you want to do is sometimes you need to see messenger will appear here under M. Ah, uh, sorry. Not Messenger. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call it that. Hold on. Echo. That's what I named it. I'm sorry. That was my fault. That's weird. It doesn't seem to be showing up here. That doesn't matter that that's a good thing if it's not showing up here. It's not showing up here. That means it's working correctly already. So mine's obviously working correctly. But if it's not, what you do is double click it when you see the file name. And yeah, then just click start. Let it 
process and then you're done. Anyway, what you do then is put CMD and type IP. This is what you're going to do on your friend's computer. IP config. Right? Now, say you just wanted the IP, just go to Google and type in what's my IP. Okay, in Google and your IP address will come up. But if you want to talk to someone who's got, say, using the same router as you in your home, um, so you're obviously going to have the same IP. You need to get a certain IP, and that's the IPv4 address. So that's this one right here. Okay. Once you get that, that's my IP address, by the way. That's why I'm you know, covering it up, I don't want you guys hacking me <clears throat> because I know people do it. Pull this up, user, then you'll type, you know, um, the purpose of the video, I'll make one up. Alright, so say that's the person's IP address. You'll press enter. Which I'm not going to do because it's not a real IP address. It could be, but who knows? Um, and then from there, uh, you can type. It'll give you the option to type a message, and you can type a message, and it'll appear on that other person's computer. Now, this won't work if their computer is turned off, um, or in sleep mode, or anything like that. Um, and it'll only work if they have your IP address as well. And then to respond, they'll type in your IP address under user, and then they can talk back to you and you're instant messaging each other. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy the video and have a better understanding on how to do that.